Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's Crush It in Sales podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet. I'm a confidence and mindset mentor, coach, sales consultant, writer, best-selling author, and speaker. Woo! And I'm also a small business owner with my husband, Ryan. Good karma sport fishing. So that's a lot of things, right? And I think that I need to start sharing that more. Kind of goes into my own little confidence bucket learning. But anywho, <laughs> I am so grateful and excited you decided to join me today. My brain is on fire. It's crazy. I have so much to share, so I hope it doesn't all come out as a jumbled mess because if you know me, I don't script, so it just kind of all comes through. And I originally, I was going to do another podcast on social media, but this morning on my walk, it came through to shift it a little bit and to use the social media content that I wanted to share to create my next round of masterclass workshops. And I'm so grateful for that shift because some of it I wanted to share in podcast and some of it I was like, okay, this should be part of something paid and how should I do that? So it actually kind of came together when I was on my morning walk and my brain was clear and I was just looking at nature and being really present that I should make it the next series of masterclass workshops, which will be in September. And it'll definitely be two with a bundled pricing and possibly even three as like an extension with some type of bundled pricing. So all the pricing will be very um, fair and affordable for lots of people, which is kind of what I want to dive into on this podcast. But um, yeah, they're going to be paid masterclass workshops. I'm probably going to create the link pretty soon and start promoting them for September. So yay, I'm super excited and I have some really <laughs> amazing information to share about social media, a lot of talk about confidence, a lot of talk about energetics. And um, I had this something happen on Sunday that I recognized and was, I wasn't, I'm not going to say triggered, but like, hmm, I need to adjust my behavior. And then again, I went on a walk Sunday night and it came to me how I could reframe it and use it positively towards leveling up my success. And I shared it with my husband. He was like, that actually really makes sense. I'm like, I know, right? So really cool reframe around social media and energetics, which I will share in that masterclass. So stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. So let's see. What I want to share today is something I have never shared. And again, it goes into the lane of like coaching and pricing and paying for things. And a lot of people, it's kind of like eye-opening, a lot of people have never had a coach before, never. A lot of people have never paid for any type of online coaching. And a lot of people even still haven't like taken advantage of anything that's free. And when you're in this lane and you've been in this lane for so many years now, I would say, gosh, five years when I start to recount this story, you, you start to have these assumptions that, well, everyone knows that, you know, coaching costs money. Everyone knows that courses cost money. And you, and you have these assumptions and then you start talking to people, even friends, and they're like, yeah, it, Melinda, I have no clue what you're talking about. And you're like, what? So it kind of brings you back down to reality of like, yeah, there's 7.9 billion people in this world. And the majority of them have never had a coach. Like, it's just true. No shade, just true. It's just because I'm so heavily invested in this space that my assumptions and my brain kind of like overtook reality, right? So I started to think about when I first kind of got pulled into this world and what it felt like in my body. And what happened was I originally found Grant Cardone through seeing his book in a bookstore in the airport and it was 10x his 10x book had just come out so I want to say the year was like 2017 and I was like oh who's this guy and I, I've always loved books I've kind of stepped away from buying and purchasing so many personal development books because I'm just not in that space anymore. And um, I've 
put a little some posts out there online. You can read about that. That's a whole different story. But at the time, I was buying like every personal development book, every book on CD. Yes, on CD because this was before you know everything really took off with Audible and YouTube and stuff. And then I ended up noticing that he was on this thing called YouTube, and I was like, "What's YouTube?" So I downloaded the app. I had gotten a new phone. I downloaded the app and I started listening to Grant Cardone on YouTube and then um, just kind of got into like his whole world. And I remember in December of that year, he was marketing a course that was a sales course and it was a thousand dollars. And I was like really curious about the course and I was like, I was a full-time sales rep. This was before I had my coaching certificate. And I was like, and this might've been 2016. I'd really have to check. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I was like, $1,000. <gasps> That's so much money. I was like, oh my gosh, $1,000. I was like, wow, $1,000. Like, oh my gosh. And it wouldn't leave me, like it, it wouldn't leave me. And I've always been that person that if I don't buy something right away, but then it stays with me, it's my intuition telling me, Melinda, you should get it, get it, get it, get it. Now, if it leaves me, then it's my intuition being like, okay, yep, it was fine that you passed. So even back then I was like listening to guidance and I, on December 31st, because I was like, okay, I have the money. I can write this off in my taxes. That's where my brain went, taxes. I'm like, I'm going to get it. So pressing that button for $1,000 on his website was one of the scariest moments. I was like, oh my gosh, it's $1,000 I'm giving for this online course. And I know nothing about this. And I just started following this dude. And like, what the heck am I doing? But I pressed it. And you know what? I survived. I survived. I survived. The money was fine. Money flowed back to me. It was a write-off. Everything was good. I survived. That started like the whole journey into buying online courses, which then evolved into paying for coaches. Because in the past, I had had a coach, which I talked about before, but the company paid for him. So I had never personally paid for a coach. So in the summer of 2018 was when I discovered, actually rediscovered Gabby Bernstein. So I had had her book, Spirit Junkie, on my shelf. I had read it when it, it came out or when I got laid off, kind of around 2009 timeframe, but um, wasn't following her again. Like I was new to social media in terms of following people and I wasn't even online myself. So I was just kind of like warming up and following people. And I started following her because I had had a total mental breakdown, a dark night of the soul in May of 2018. And I looked at my bookshelf and her book like popped out. And that's when I started meditating. And I've talked about this before, so there's more story there. So I'm just gonna keep this tight. And I started following her and ended up buying her course uh, Spirit Junkie Masterclass, I think is what it's called. And it was $2,000. And I was like, $2,000. And I did a payment plan, which I really didn't even need to do at the time. But I did do a payment plan. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is like so big. And when I hit that button for $2,000, I was like, oh, but I did it. And you know what? I survived. And I was grateful that I did it because I learned so much, right? So when we take these steps in terms of spending money for our personal development and growth, it just helps us grow and expand. And money is energy. So if you have the right mindset about why you're spending it, right? And I was guided towards these people even from an intuitive space, like you're going to be fine. It's helping you. And if you're an independent contractor, entrepreneur, small business owner, it's a write-off. So hey, you should spend it and learn from it and not have the government have it, right? So all of these things like have been growing. Like I really believe in the power of spending more money and like increasing your container for what you can hold as you grow. 
And then in 2019, I was deciding to be part of a program, a speaking program. It was this marketing speaking program, not how to be a speaker, but how to market yourself. And it was a six month container with some, uh, two days a week was like live on either Facebook or, or Zoom or something. I can't remember, it feels like so long ago. And then you could have like laser coaches and laser coaching sessions for like 15 minutes if you had questions and there was a lot involved in it. That was $10,000, $10,000, which at the time, again, seemed so scary. And I remember talking to the Ninja sales rep and I think her name was Lois and she lived in Costa Rica. And I remember telling her, I, I need to see if I can gather this money. And all I really wanted to do was make sure that my taxes were covered. And then if I had enough surplus and I felt okay in my body with my our savings, then $10,000 to spend on my future speaking career was good for me. So I did that. I spent the $10,000 and I survived and I learned and I grew and the money came back to me and it was no big deal. So as we spend on our personal development, the universe supports us. We are supported energetically. If you're doing things for the right reasons, if you're doing things to further your own development or for the greater good so you can help others, which is really what this is all about, right? We all help each other in this lane, then you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. So what ends up happening, like on the flip side, is especially if you're a spiritual coach or even like a religious coach, let's say, you know, a lot of people get stuck in thinking, you know, I can't charge. I can't charge for my services. I can't charge for my services. It's like, no, you can, you can, it's fine. And when people pay for something, they actually have more skin in the game. It's like amazing. Time and time again, I've seen it. Like, it's just amazing. If you pay for something, you have skin in the game. So if you're someone out there listening and you're afraid to charge for your services, you know, working on that fear and starting even small will help you push through it and then you'll be fine. You'll be able to like feel it in your body, notice the shift, be like, okay, cool, and celebrate it and, and move on to like the next level. It's the same thing. It works on both sides. It works on the spending and, and it works on the receiving. It works on both sides of the coin. So it's really something to increase your conscious awareness around, like how am I feeling when I charge this or how am I feeling when I spend this and really building some awareness around it. You know, for years with our charter business, Good Karma Sport Fishing, you know, we have raised our prices on the charters. Like for years, like I, I wish I actually would have kept a better tally of, you know, how many times we've raised it. And we've done different things, like we added a fee if you use a credit card versus cash. And we took away um, certain features for, for various reasons, some the financial piece and some just my husband being able to manage things. And every single time we have felt good in our bodies when we do it and it's worked out fine. Nothing has changed. Our business continues to grow. It's totally fine. So it's actually like such an amazing, <laughs> such an amazing thing. And when you start to realize it and you start to embrace it, that's how these people, these coaches that are extremely successful, they've worked through all this. They've worked through all this. And now they can easily charge. You know, time is, is money. I've heard good things about that saying and some not so good things about that saying, but I'm just gonna use it. You know, time is money. So if you're a private coach, as you grow, you know, and as you get more clients or increase the amount of content or masterminds or containers that you're doing, like you only have so many hours in the day. So yeah, your prices are gonna go up. Raise your prices, raise your prices because you have to, you just have to. And yeah, some people may say that they can't afford it anymore, but there will be people that can and you have to believe and know that those people will find you and it's fine. And some people will be like, you know what? I totally get it. I'm making more money too. And you have been the person that has contributed to that success. And so, yeah, I, I'm fine with paying you some more. And that's really good too. That's good karma. That's good energy. 
And that helps everyone grow and everyone be really, really successful. So I hope this podcast and and what I shared really resonates with you. I could talk forever about the money I've spent in the coaching industry. And, you know, even if I've said before that someone wasn't a great coach, it was still a learning and still a lesson. And there's always things you pull from that, right? So even though sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, I jumped into that course because of FOMO. I had a lot of that happen, I would say like in 2020 into early 2021, but then I caught myself and I've been much better. But now I'm in three year long containers, all of which I love. And I could probably make like three podcasts about this whole thing. But what I find is, you know, so many people get caught up in comparison and oh she's a mindset coach too or or she's a spiritual teacher too or we both teach social media and honestly everyone still teaches really differently so between all three containers i'm in the commonality is they're all spiritual not religious but spiritual so we talk about the universe spirit teams um, trusting your intuition things like that and also you know very energetic based and that's what i love that's my jam and that's what i like to share too so i learn from these different teachers and i may pick up like a little nugget here and a little nugget there and then i combine it with my learning and experience it's like a whole new thing it's a whole new thing and ryan and i were talking about that this morning in regards to sport fishing because he has courses but we know that there's like a tackle shop up north that has courses. We know there's another big podcast that has courses too. And you know, kudos to anyone in his audience that's bought from all three of those people. And maybe even there's someone else that we just don't know about, right? Because then they take like a little bit here, like maybe it's the hook from this guy and the line from this guy and the the way to rig it from this guy and they merge it all together in their way that works for them, and then they're going to be leveling up and building their success, right? So really understanding like the more you can be involved and not just from a consumption basis, not just reading another personal development book or buying like all these online courses, but be in these containers where it's live with people and you're really learning like that's where I think a lot of the magic is happening now. And I-